Hi, my name is Dawn Hetty. I'm a Senior Technical Solution Architect with Salon Consulting. In my last video, Introduction to Default Fields, I demonstrated this new feature of FileMaker Pro 17 Advanced, and I also showed how to basically disable it. Now in this video, I want to show how you can leverage this great new feature, Default Fields, so that it creates fields that match your own naming standards, or perhaps the naming standards of the particular project you're working on. So let's get started. And I think I'm going to, we're going to look at the package, so I'm going to quit FileMaker. So here's my folder where FileMaker Pro Advanced is inside my application folder. And I'm going to right click on it and select on my Mac here, Show Package Contents. The FileMaker application itself is made up a lot of a lot of different files. So inside it, here are the contents of its package. One of those folders is called Resources. Resources has all kinds of things in it. Um, it has lots of icons and, and all kinds of stuff, the default glyphs. Um, in this case, though, I want to... <clears throat> yours is probably sorted by name, but I'm going to sort it by kind, just to make it a little bit easier to find this. I wanted all the folders to sort together here that are inside that resources folder. And what you're going to look for is the, if you're an English speaker like I am, um, the EN <clears throat> period L project, P-R-O-J for project. This means it's the English version. This would be the Spanish and French and Italian, Japanese. So all the way down, these are all just um, language files. So inside that folder, is the default fields full file. Now, you don't want to modify this while it's inside the package, but what you can do is, um, I'm holding down the option key and dragging out to my desktop. So what I want to do is, is, um, is I'm going to replace that blank one I made. Okay, so now I've got FileMaker's example. So we're going to open it here and look at it. And it's a big XML file. Um, it looks a little worse, though, than, you know, don't be scared of this. It's just XML. It tells us that we've got five members, so, so that's five fields. And everywhere one of these field things starts, that's the field tag starts, that's the definition of a new field. So... These are the five fields FileMaker makes. So, you know, I like those fields. I like the preferences that it's doing. I just don't like the name. I don't want primary key. Let's say that I want uh, our standards are to just use ID as the primary key. So you notice here I specify the data type. Even here is where I specify the auto enter calculation, which is inside this get data tag here's the get uuid so that's what would be put inside its text that will be inside that calculation field then we have all kinds of other things like validation always and um, it's not empty is true and unique is true so there's lots of things we can define here in the field so i'm going to try just changing that and then i'm going to save it Save that to my desktop and replace the other one. So this is the blank one. This is the one we just modified. I want to show you, let's see, let's move this to a new window. Okay, I want to show you, uh, you know, I've already got a file here that I've saved with all of my uh, slant consulting preferences. So I've uh, changed the name on all five of those fields and I'm going to um, save a copy of this here. So I've replaced in shared, I've put uh, the defaults that I would use for Salient. So let's open back up meetings. So I'll open it up here in FileMaker Pro Advanced 17 and pull it up into place. So now let's go to File Manage Database. And once again, I want to create, try to create that test table. 
and this time you'll see that I still get the same five fields FileMaker creates for me, but now they're named um, to match our slide standard. So the primary key is now called ID, and I prefix my um, housekeeping fields with uh, a double Z underscore. Now I want to show you one more thing. This is what I intend to do, um, how I intend to use this feature. You know, sometimes I have different standards for different clients. You know, we follow their own naming convention, or you might have inherited an old file, so you're following its naming convention. Um, so my intention is to have some different defaults. Uh, in this case, I've got one specific for a client who makes use of Sync Server Pro, and Sync Server Pro requires you to add like four fields to every table so that are specific for syncing so in this case i think i'm going to replace um, you know and share it i'm going to get rid of this one and instead i'm going to put this this one where i've even added some other fields so now let's see what we get so i figure by having um, i can actually take all three of these default folders that i've prepared and just store them right inside here. Uh, FileMaker will ignore them, but then I have them handy. I can just, I can just um, replace my default fields that is laying loose inside of Shared. I can replace that file whenever I switch which solution I'm working on, and you know perhaps it has some different standards. So let's see what happens here. Okay, so let's go to File Manage Database. And this time I'm going to make a test table and let's see what we get. Okay, so now FileMaker's created a whole series of fields for me. So, so I think by using this technique of being able to just have various default files and you can drag them into place without even having to close FileMaker Pro Advanced, you can customize then your work environment for your situation. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tune into Slant TV and check out the other videos about various new features of FileMaker Pro 17. Thanks so much for your time. Have a great day.